Hey everybody, I'm JJ. You're watching Reality Survival, and today we're going to talk about the Porterwell expansion pack. Now, I've been out here messing with it a little bit, just kind of getting familiar with everything. I've done a few other videos on this. I did a real quick overview during a live stream. I did a benchtop review, and I've done a field review, as you can see, out there in my pond uh, with, with some really nasty water. Uh, and that was all on the... Um, on the whole unit, the original unit right here. And um, this is, just so if you guys didn't catch those other videos, you should go watch those. But to give you a real quick run, rundown, what this is, is this is a portable powered, with a little 12 volt, 12 volt battery, uh, water filtering system. And it will filter water four times faster than a regular hand pump. It does about a gallon per minute. I've got a gallon of water sitting right here. The system's primed up and we'll kind of run through that. But primarily, the focus of this video is to show you the expansion pack. The expansion pack is pretty cool. It gives you another housing unit and two additional filters. So what I've got in here right now is I've got a sediment filter. Then I've got a carbon wrap house filter. These are just basic 2.5 by 10 whole house filters. Then I've got a carbon uh, active, activated carbon powder filter. And then I have a ceramic filter, a sterosyl ceramic filter. And um, so this setup right here is just, that would be a great setup for really filtering some really, really nasty water if you wanted to make it taste good. And, you know, you could put it into uh, buckets so they could use to drink or whatever the case may be. The cool thing about this system is it's totally versatile. You can set these filters up in different ways. You can only run it with two filters and it'll fit, the unit will fit down inside of a five gallon bucket. Or you can run the four filter setup. You know, maybe if you were doing uh, this at like a bug out location or a bug out cabin and running the whole thing off of a solar generator. You know, this that would be a great idea, like maybe doing some, uh, if you're doing rain catchment or something like that, and then you just run the rain from the rain catchment in through this system, and you'd be golden. I think that would be an awesome use. So anyway, um, I was just getting this set up and everything like that. I, I had just a little bit of trouble I want to let you guys know about. It was really my fault. It wasn't their fault. But these uh, little quick connects right here uh, came installed, and I didn't check them to see if they had um, Teflon tape on them, and they didn't have. And so I went ahead and added some Teflon tape, and I think we're good to go now. I had a little leak earlier. But uh, with that, let's go ahead and just run this and see how it goes through here. And it starts in here. It'll go through this system, through that system, over to here, in this system, and then out into the bucket. And that's about the flow rate that you get. Like I said, it's basically an RV pump uh, from an RV. So it's looking pretty good. I'll just let it uh, suck this gallon down here real quick. Cool part about this is they're standard filters you can get at a hardware store, like I said, and also the O-rings are also standard that you can get at a uh, hardware store as well. So if you had a bad O-ring or something like that, you could easily replace it. And then for those that didn't see, this is the uh, this is what the pump looks like here. Just a standard RV pump. Looks like we're just about out on that water. So. Just about done. And it's sucking air. So, there we go. So that is the expansion pack for the Portawell system. As you guys know, I became an affiliate with these guys. Uh, if you want to check this out, click the link down in the description below. If you decide to buy one, I'll get a few bucks so you'll be supporting the channel. I think it's a really cool system. And um, I, I don't know... I don't know of another system out there that would beat this that is like this. I have heard uh, my buddy at Renaissance Marine showed me some that uh, from the military, but there are some pretty high-end units. Um, this one's fairly reasonably priced. Uh, it's about three thirty for this unit and like eighty-five for that. And then depending on what filters you can get, uh, you decide to put into it. 
you know, they're anywhere from a few bucks on up to, you know, probably 30 or 40 if I had to guess on the, on the ceramic one, but I'm, I'm not sure exactly on the ceramic cost, but you can go out to the portal well website by clicking that affiliate link down below and it'll, he's got a wide variety that you can buy from him as well if you want, or you can just buy them from Amazon or whatever the case may be. You will have to also get a little uh, 12 volt battery. Um, these are, I think 15 bucks or something like that on Amazon. So anyway, guys, just wanted to show you that real quick. If you got any questions, stick them in the co comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Don't forget to live six Ps, proper prior preparation, prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.